following program contains stunning footage of Zimbabwe best seen in high definition. So, um, last time that we had a presentation as Destination Africa, somebody was going to do some scuba diving. Some African was going to do some scuba diving. And I want to take you back, for those that may not have seen that episode. So, here it is, and then you find out just who it is. And here's the thing. I've decided, right here and right now, that I am going to take scuba diving lessons. And before the end of 2016, I'm going down to the bottom of this pool. I just have to, it's, it's so inviting, I, I can't resist it, I just have to. And here's the thing, and here's the thing, the warden at the office told us that, you know, Africans don't go down there, Yeah. okay? And so I'm going to be one of those Africans who's going to be seen on camera at the bottom of this pool. And I'm one of those Africans that you will never see anywhere close to the bottom of this pool. All I can barely do is just get my feet to get nibbled by these fish here, and that's it. Nah, you can do it on your own, I'm not, I'm not doing that. So it's a new day in Africa. Here I am, I'm not using water to drink or to cook with or to take a bath in, but to actually have fun in. That's the next frontier, my friend. I still happen to be that same African who will not enter water in a cave. No thanks. I still don't have the guts to do that. And here's the man who's responsible for all this, Mr. Paul Sparks. Yeah. Come on, Chucky. Hey. Well, you, you're not going to get in the water. You're going to get in the water, I'm telling you. Do you know what? It takes a certain kind of guy. I'm not that kind of guy yeah. to do it just as yet. But it appears Tabani was actually serious. He's going ahead with the uh, with the dive at the Chinoe Caves. He's and doing extremely well. He's the man who's responsible for doing his training. And for those that may be interested in engaging in a similar sort of activity, we're actually going to take you on a little tour of uh, the establishment that they have, the dive activities wild. that he's going to be taking um, on this whole thing. And I hope you guys like the journey. Welcome to You're Destination welcome. Africa. <laughs> Right now. So I'll be doing a confined water dive today. It's part of my training in preparation for the dive in Chinoy Caves. And what a confined water dive is, is a dive in a pool, in a controlled environment where I can acquire skills and get ready for the big dive. Scuba diving in Zimbabwe remains a relatively unexplored underwater sport. Most people consider it risky, dangerous and scary. However, the few that have taken the sport find it very relaxing and enjoyable as it allows them to explore the underwater world in peace and quiet. The first known scuba dive in the Chinoy Caves was in 1969 where the divers reached 103 meters. American divers are known to have gone further and reached a depth of 135 meters. To date, no divers have reached the bottom, which makes the already mysterious caves even more intriguing. From our conversations with the wardens at the caves, it was apparent that black people were less likely to participate in the recreational sport than white people, and we were pretty keen to find out why. So now there seems to be a theory that, uh, and a myth that the Chinoy Caves has got stuff that makes other people not want to go in there and I think I want to go and find out for myself. I want to test out whether it's something that people strongly believe in or it's just a myth and a theory that doesn't exist. And I want you guys to come and join me. So I'm going to ask them, would they scuba dive in the Chinoy Caves? And this is what they said. Let's go. Vumai, 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 uh, ah. No. But why not? Why? Haven't you heard of the stories in Chinoy Caves? I'm a black man, I'm not gonna go down there. People go in there and they disappear. Um yes. No, I can't swim, so I don't think I'd ever wanna try that. I love to go scuba diving. Nah, never. Nah, I've not been there, but I'm not going to jump on chicken somewhere. I'm good, good. I'm the pin, the which road do you want to pin the way? I want to. I want to pin the pin. I certainly would go scuba diving in the Chinoy Cave. 
I certainly wouldn't host people diving in the tunnel, okay? Why not? I'm black. My. And I'm a change I need to do fine, then I wanna go in there. Don't lose your I will attempt. Oh, you know. Obviously. Oh, I am good. Dupin, why not? I won't, I will never do such a thing because I'm so afraid of these things. Ah, no. Ah, no, I'm afraid. I'm not a good singer. No, 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 no. From what we've seen, we can confidently say that there are mixed emotions about scuba diving in the Chinoy Caves. My curiosity got the better of me, and I wanted to go deeper. So I asked why some people would dive in, and why some wouldn't. Here's what they had to say. Um, I guess it's a fear that I, that, that I have of... Uh, that's a good question, why not? <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess it's one of those things where it's something you're not accustomed to or never thought of doing. So the thought of doing it is kind of scary, but I love swimming, so I'll swim, but scuba diving, being lost in the cave, that kind of thing scares you. But I guess if I practiced it, I may be able to do it, yeah. There's issues like, okay, there's in Juzu and stuff down there, so people don't even want to try. Because I like the adrenaline, and I like doing different things. I'm adventurous. I'm not scared of anything. Spiritual. If you go there, if you dive inside, you mostly have a black person. Mm, you can't come back. But a white person can do, can dive and come back. Do you guys disappear? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I not know. I don't 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 I don't I it's not even painted blue past our but I can't. I know. It's a no problem. Uh, okay. So, what's the explanation to those black people disappear? Have they? Uh, who, who, who are they? Can I see one? Can I have a relative or someone close to them who went in there and disappeared? And why were they doing that? Maybe they had come from some Sangoma or some Nganga or something and they deserve to disappear. Me, I'm going from a clear conscience. I'm going to scuba dive, coming back up and getting out. That's nah, all. And you? I wouldn't do it because I'm black. <laughs> Stop. I don't want to disappear, man. <laughs> the reasons for and against diving in the caves seems to be a mix of a desire to be adventurous, an inability to swim, being black, and a fear of the infamous Njuzu, known in English as mermaids. Tabani had his fair share of reasons why he should and should not go scuba diving in the caves. To reinforce his urge to go underwater, we made a trip to Dive Wild, a scuba diver training facility in Zimbabwe, to hear more about diving in Zimbabwe. Paul Sparks is a professional diver with nearly 25 years of worldwide diving experience under his belt. Uh, we've got a little dive school here that we um, teach everyone from little bubble makers, eight years old in the swimming pool exclusively up to 10 years old when they can then start to do their junior open water and all the way up to paddy dive professionals, dive masters, assistant instructors, we can teach up to that. We'd love to see some very interested people that would like to come and do some uh, serious cave diving. It's very safe, it's very stable. Um, and we have a lot of backup facilities like recompression chambers, gas mixing facilities here. So we can facilitate a lot of different um, diver requirements from recreational diving all the way up to uh, technical divers. A part of the absolute enjoyment of teaching people is to see them conquer their fears. Everyone, we're not designed to breathe underwater, <laughs> so we have to use the equipment that we're supplied with. And that keeps us absolutely safe. So you'll find some people that are absolutely no problem, mainly kids, absolutely fearless. But the older people get, sometimes they have a little bit more caution and are a little more nervous. And so I think that that's always one of the greatest um, feelings is when, you know, a student who's 
overcome fears or challenges in the underwater world and they get out after completing their open water diver course and they're ecstatic. They've just learned something that up until the time they started dive they thought could never happen. And we just hope to encourage more Zimbabweans to dive and to explore their natural heritage, especially in Chinoy Caves, one of my most favorite dive sites in the world. After visiting Paul at Dive Wild, Tabani felt more confident and it was now time for him to have his last practice session. Soon, he'll be heading off to the caves for his first ever open water recreational dive. The closed water session is in two phases, shallow water and deeper water. I've just done the shallow water, it went well, we're now moving into the deep. I've just spent 28 minutes in the water and we've been practicing buoyancy, that's controlling how deep it is that you're underwater and we've also been working on equalization making sure that the pressure on my ears and my airspaces is all good and it's been absolutely fabulous. Okay so Tawani has just finished his uh, fine water dive for him exceptionally well. The man that is going to be at the bottom of the game soon, eh? I hope. <laughs> D-Day. We set off for Chinoy first thing in the morning and in no time we were at the Chinoy picnic site where the team was getting set up for their briefing before the dive. But before we get to that, I'd like to share something interesting that I came across on our way to the caves. So funny enough, on our way this morning to the caves, I picked up the infamous uh, Quiet the newspaper and as it were, the headline is bra. <laughs> This was meant to make me feel worse about this thing and it's making me feel a certain way before Tabani goes in. But uh, I'm kind of curious what they say, so I'm going to try and pick up one or two um, paragraphs from... Oh, there we go. So, there's the article. It's almost dead center and they have a weird picture of Njuzo again. Again, another human being and a fishtail. And it's not black. It's not white either. This kind of looks Chinese. So, hey, maybe these things do exist. Anyway, the first line goes, which is also known as a bra. <laughs> but the funny thing is, right next to that article, there's uh, Godobori, who is linked with the Association of um, Zimbabwean Traditional Healers. And the first sentence that she says is, Iya is in Juzu. But in your Gayamba, because in Jews, it's no one got Panem Fura, I want to go Mumba, and I want to go in the moon, Wester Wester, except an Eshavi Raj. I raised my case. Okay, so our first dive is going to be down to 12 meters. Time to suit up. Fumai, Kutamba Nembura, Kutamba Nembura, Fumai, Kutamba Nembura, Kutamba Nembura, Fumai, Kutamba Nembura. I'm excited. Kutamba Nembura, Fumai, Kutamba Nembura, Kutamba Nembura. Super excited to be here. A little nervous. Everyone I know personally has been asking me why on earth are you going down there? You know, you're going to disappear and so forth. And so we'll see what'll happen. But I think I'll have a wonderful time. Um, I'm nervous. I'm uh, very nervous. Um, like my mother said, she doesn't not fond of me going down there. She doesn't think. I don't know, what's the word? <laughs> Ask my mom. Ask her. <laughs> so, mom. <laughs> Oh, 
Everything's looking wonderful. I think we're ready to go diving, eh? So Dylan, any tips before I go in? Um, not really. I think just, yeah, if you see anything on coming out from the bottom, I recommend you just don't look it in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Taba, how are you feeling? <laughs> and that's simply because I've seen just I have, I've not seen how far down it goes. <laughs> Any last words? Uh, the first word. <laughs> the first word. <laughs> <laughs> So the dive is done and I went down and came back, wasn't taken by any mystical creatures, didn't drown, it went well. I'm actually quite envious, as painful as that is to admit because I'm so adamant, yes. I'm one of those Africans that will not enter water. <laughs> and now I'm here thinking, wow, I think I want to have this experience and before the end of 2017, I'll be one of uh, Dive Wild's students for scuba diving. And Recreational diving is the next frontier for us, eh? I mean, we've used water to drink and to cook with, to bath with. The next thing is to have fun in it. And I tell you, it's the most sublime, most incredible experience I've ever had. Are you guys going to join us? Come and do scuba diving. Yeah, come and scuba diving. Hey.
Oh, and a little note on the juices there. Okay, I knocked on the juices door, but it didn't open. <laughs> the most amazing thing is with the, with the skill that I've learned under Sharky, I didn't panic. I was completely comfortable. It felt like something I've done before. And it is, because the training was that good. So, oh, gents, how did the dive go? Oh, fantastic, Giovanni. Well done, mate. Thank yeah, you. Thank awesome. You. In the water. Terrific. Finally. It's terrific. Yeah, and how did you find it? It was the most surreal experience of my life. Most amazing, most exhilarating thing I've ever done. It's something I would do again and again. And I would recommend it to a friend. Yeah. You did a marvelous job. And that's only the first dive of many. Mm. So, we'll do the next dive. And we'll do a couple of skills in that just to get you a little bit more confident yeah. in the water. But you're a fish, mate. Yeah, well absolutely. Done. Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. Really, it was.